Okay, so now that our Ubuntu server um, is on the internet, it's accessing the internet, it's uploading files, all that, we're now going to set up um, the domain, well rather, we're going to join it to the Windows domain. So if you don't know Ubuntu, Linux boxes in general, Unix, Linux boxes, you can actually join them to the Windows domain, any Windows domain really, as long as you set, up, set it up right and all that. So couple considerations to um, think about, right? Number one is the time. Make sure that the time of the Ubuntu server is on the same time as your domain controller. That's one. Second one is, um, well, the NTP you just associate with the domain, uh, domain controller. The second one is, um, obviously, you're going to have internet, right? And then, obviously... Uh, to upload the files so you can either have it where you use it as um, you have two NIC cards let's say one is the internet one is the internal network or you can use one internal network and uh, just as long as you have the DNS name uh, IP address of the Active Directory server it'll work other thing you can do is sometimes you can put in Google's DNS 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and it'll work as well. Um, my other episode, I had it where it was one IP, right, all that, and it just, for some reason, it just didn't work. I couldn't get it back to that point, so I have two IPs now. I have a 172 network, and then I have my um, internet network that I'm using. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you what they look like real quick. Um, I created a bunch of extra interfaces I don't need. This one here is offline. I turned that off, but um, let's just, just take a look at it. So here's the um, network interface, click on IP version 4, um, we're using IP version 4, whenever IP version 6 is fully functional we use that then, but for now it's IP version 4. Uh, our IP is 172.16.30.5, the net mass is slash 24, gateway is 30.1, and our DNS, which is my Active Directory server, is 30.2. And let's jump over to our Active Directory server. I'll show you what that looks like. So here's our Active Directory server. I'm going to click on Details. And you see that's my IP address of 172.30.16.30.2. Uh, I, did, I did change the subnet on this one to, uh, what is that, slash 16, um, just, just because. You can do it slash 24, but it doesn't matter, um, you know, whatever you connect to. So... Um, just don't you know? Don't use like 252 because then you're gonna access like in my case, if I had like a 252 here, I'd only have like what two, I think yeah two, two hosts could connect here. For this one here, you can have, you know, a lot more. Two so slash 24 is 253 uh, hosts I think right yeah, so that's is it 253 or 254 whatever. So anyway, that's how many hosts can connect here meaning how many servers can connect to this, you know, given in this IP range. So I just said, okay, let's put it at slash 16. The other thing we want to do is um, we want to see what the time is here, right, on our Active Directory domain controller. We can either go down here and say, oh, okay, you know, do that deal, change time, right? I'm not going to change it. Everybody should change to you. So Pacific time, okay. Or you could do it this way. You go uh, net time. Oh, it's two words. Might be one word. Oh, yeah, it's one word. Okay, so it's 9, 9 21 p.m. In, in Pacific Standard Time. So I, I need to go to my Ubuntu server and make sure it's set to that. So I'm on my Ubuntu server. I need to cancel this. And I need to go to, um, let's see, I need to go to details, I believe. Details, details. Okay, uh, date and time. My time zone, oh, specific center time, good, awesome. So, what did we say it was? Uh, 9.21. So that's 21, 9, 21, 21. Let's, let's just go 21, that's fine, no worries. Okay, good, yep, okay, that's on 9.22. And let's do another net time, 9.22, roughly. That should be fine, we're good there. 
Okay, so we know it's on the right time now. Let's go to Ubuntu so we make sure that it doesn't update uh, in the internet. Okay, that's turned off good. Because what you don't want to have happen is it automatically updates to the internet here. Uh, that's just not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a command to actually... Well, we're going to go through the steps to join the domain. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to set the host name to lin... Um, S R V R C M V L T M A one. Okay, let's just host name. Okay, L A N Linux server S R server C M Commvault C M V L T Commvault M A one. Okay. Okay. Next thing we need to do is go to our interfaces. So we're going to go Nano. So you have, um, let's do nano, nano, okay, nano, paste that in, copy it ready, interface, okay. Um, I'll just uncomment these out. I want to make sure it's 160 though. It's not, it's 192, so I need to change that. So that's the interface name. So you can give it a, net, a nice name here, network interface for for garlic, for garlic food. Dot local. Okay. Um, it's one nine two, right? Yeah. One nine two. Okay. Oh. One nine two. And then we're gonna uncomment these out. Just remove this. Remove that one. Move that one, move that one, okay, okay, okay. So what do we have? We have our address, we have our net mask, we have the broadcast, we have the gateway, um, and we have the network. And then we have the DNS server, which is our Active Directory server, and then domain name. So that's all we need to do with that. I'm going to push uh, Control X. And then Y for yes, and then enter. We're gonna overwrite those. And just to make sure everything went well, we're gonna go slash cat, cat eyes, looking at it basically network. I don't know what I think it concatenate. I think it's a term. Maybe that's a. I don't know what that's. I forget what language that is. It's probably it's probably uh, Latin probably for something. Anyway, interfaces interfaces yeah. Okay, good. So that's there. That's good. This next command is giving me so many problems, and it's um, it's the Etsy resolve.conf file. This one, every time I've changed it, it just keeps coming back. Like I'll change it, I'll put it in, and it'll come back. So if you experience it in your lab, you know. Okay, that's normal. And I don't. It's not that I don't know. I just I don't. I don't know. I'll just, I don't mind telling you. I don't know why it's working like that. I don't know what the problem is, why it's not saving. Um, but, you know, maybe I did a wrong step somewhere, but whatever. Uh, okay, search is garlic food dot local. Yeah, so the name server is our domain name server, DNS server. And I'll leave the other one in there, that 127.0053. Uh, and I just add the... Uh, 30.2 and then I put my my domain in there under search. I do control X and yes and enter. Okay. I do a cat against it. Cat. Okay, that's good. Every time I think I do this command, the system control restart networking service, I think what happens is it'll it'll remove that resolve. It'll just basically everything I've done for that cat. Um, and let me show you something actually about this. So sometimes what'll happen is, um, let me show you an error actually. So let's do this one, right? If you were to put in here, uh, I know some of the forms say it's like auto 192, right? ENS auto 192, or is it ENS, right? Something like that, right? 
if you do that and you try to do that this command here it's going to give you a bunch of errors every time all time every time so in order to avoid that you would just remove it from here just remove it completely and all is well so yeah yeah so i i struggle with that for hours hours uh, like what why so you know yeah anyway let's just go over to our make sure that our um, this one didn't change and it didn't sweetness good times all right now I need ping my domain name right so ping um, garlic food local c2 maybe I need to ping my domain controller maybe that's what I need to do instead of that because I think it's going to throw an error yeah so I'll do this I'll go ping um, let me see my domain controller where's my ping uh, win s r v r a d d a l zero zero one dot garlic food local Okay, ping, oh good, yeah it works, sweet. Okay, that's good, that works. You know, after looking at it, right, I was I was wrong. It does work, so I did the ping garlic food that local, it did work, so either way it did work. So my mistake on that one. And in some of the forums it says um, to do this command here, app sudo apt-get install ntpit, we're not doing that, because I'm, um, well, let's try it out. Yeah, why not? Because I don't, I'm not sure that it, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll go against, unless you tell it to go and search the internet for your, your updates. If you like this video and you want to see more, please jump on to my course, which is, I have two courses. One is at getajobnit.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy. It's Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault, Get a High Paying Job. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer. There's some good content there related to this. If you would, could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications? Thank you very much.